Hi everybody, this video is going to make sure that everybody is on the same page for the exam that's due this Friday. So along with the exam, all the content from chapters 1, 12, 6, 7, and 8 is due. Um, I also want to say that in addition to finishing up um, doing that work, you want to make sure to leave yourself time to study for the exam. I have posted study guides for each chapter on B2L, and what I recommend that you do is you go through and you review the study guides. After you've gone through the study guides a couple of times and uh, have identified which concepts you really struggle with, those are the concepts that I would recommend that you put on your note card. So you are allowed to bring one 4x6 note card to the exam, and you can um, write on both sides. It must be handwritten. And I, um, the note card is not useful if you just try and cram everything onto the note card because you simply won't have enough time to take the exam and read your whole note card. Um, but the best way to use a note card is to not put things on there that you definitely know and to just put the things on there that you really seem to struggle with. For taking the exam, the exam procedure is laid out on D2L. I have a document that's all about um, how to take the exam. But the overview is you'll sign up for the exam in Register Blast. There are two sections of Intro Psych that are using uh, the testing center this semester. So when you go to sign up for an, an exam, make sure to look for my last name. Once you sign up for the exam, all you need to do is make sure that you have um, some form of ID like your driver's license or student ID and get to the testing center about 10 to 15 minutes before your exam time. Once you get to the exam, they'll um, sign you in and put you in front of the computer and you'll have an hour to take the exam. One thing that I want to make sure to emphasize, it is very important that you give yourself enough time to get to the exam and not be late. Uh, five minutes after the start time for the exam, the proctors will not let anybody into the exam, no matter what. And um, you'll either have to try and find a, a t exam time later where that's open where you can take the exam or you'll get a zero for the exam. So I very strongly recommend that you give yourself a good buffer. Make sure that you don't count on all the lights being green. Um, make sure that you don't count on being able to walk, you know, at supersonic speeds from your um, car to the testing center. Give yourself a good amount of time. And you also don't want to get to the testing center really stressed out because you were worried that you weren't going to get there on time. So that's about it. Um, as always, if you have any questions, please feel free to email me or to post them on the course discussion board. And good luck on the exam.